Hey, it's Brian Newman with the Spotlight of Business Owner Show. And today we're thrilled to have Jim Ray with Scott Stale Nights. Hi, Jim. How are you? Good. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, good. Good. God, I'm thrilled to have you on here. I'm really excited to uh, let our viewers get to know you. So uh, I know, can you tell them a little bit about Scott Stale Nights and how you got into that? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, it's uh, we, we're a nightlife concierge, hospitality concierge company. We also do a lot of marketing and media. So we, we do have our hands in a lot of different things. But in general, you know, we're a go to company when it comes to your nightlife bookings, your our hotel, Airbnb, restaurants. And obviously, we love catering all the events for all the companies, too. Oh, OK. W what do you love the most about hospitality? I mean, I've always been a hospitality guy. I think you have to have a knack for it. Um, you definitely have to have a passion to host people. Uh, I like doing that. I like providing services and making sure the individual or their company is getting what they need. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, I know Scottsdale Nights is highly recommended for events and events marketing. What are a couple of the good reasons? You know, I mean, we have a vast database, that's for sure. Our database is extremely large, but we're very persistent. Um, we have a lot of outlets that uh, we do what we say we're going to do. Um, we definitely have our reach, our impressions, and we're good at following up. You know, every event has its own nature, its own kind of identity. Uh, so we know how to customize to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jim, I know, uh, you know, with the influx of people into the city, would you say uh, tourism is increasing in Arizona? Yes. And ironically, I just got out of a meeting uh, with a tourism group. And it's it definitely, it's still up there, uh, especially people that have the capital to obviously spend, spend a little bit more. Uh, Arizona is booming, period. Um, you know, even though we're right now reaching the, the dog days of the summer months, as you can see, the city itself is still busier than it has been in the past. Oh, yeah. uh, and, it's, and it's definitely going to continue in that upward trend. Yeah, I mean, as people come into the city, what are you noticing about the nightlife? Well, you know, there's de a demand, um, you know, and I think, you know, there's certain pockets of areas that do very well with that. Obviously, with Old Town being the the anchor for that. Uh, Old Town mm -hmm. Scottsdale just is uh, it, it's become a beast. And at the end of the day, people know to go there. There's several places, 20, 30 places to go to, if not more, that, you know, you can just basically either do the VIP table service, which we're really, really good at, and or just bar hop. Um, but, you know, becoming a haven for bachelorette and bachelor parties in the country is a big part of that, too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, for the viewers uh, that are listening, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? You know, uh, there's multiple ways. Uh, I'm a texter. Uh, you know, my phone number's right there. Please text me. Uh, texting, email, uh, my Facebook page, uh, my Instagram page at Gemray Media or at Scottsdale Knights. Uh, I have control over both of those pages and those outlets too. Uh, you know, again, uh, texting is one of the best ways. Uh, we're very fast at responding to that. Uh, emails will usually get back within 24 hours. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, um, I was going to ask you, restaurants and bars which ones are you involved with can you let the viewers know because i know when we talked a few weeks ago i was like shocked i <laughs> i had no idea yeah i had attended blondie's for a uh, ohio state game and uh yeah we went there for a michigan ohio state game several years ago i had no idea that that was you know one of yours so if you yeah, can let you the know viewers know yeah, we do our Ohio State watch parties at Bottle Blonde. As you can see behind me is the Ohio State. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so go Bucks. But, uh, you know, so with that being said, in the restaurant piece, the bar piece, nightlife piece, they're all kind of in separate categories, but they all work together. Uh, you know, there's obviously preferred restaurants. You know, when I was talking to you a few weeks ago, you know, there's like 50, 60 restaurants that we really like to drive business to. You know, from the Toka Madeiras, the Maple Nash, Mastro City Hall, uh, you know, there's like a good 20 that we basically direct target uh, because of the customer service and because of the experiences they give and also the proactiveness of the, the relationship. Um, and then when it comes to, you know, some of these bars and high energy bars in Old Town Scottsdale, Gilbert, Tempe, downtown Phoenix, there's a lot of different areas, but, the, you know, it's same thing. You know, it comes down to what the, the relationship is and everything is all across the board. You know, obviously we're very, very active. Uh, you know, we tell everybody we do, you know, 90 to 100 events per month. Uh, and every night of the week, 
You know, if you look at our social media outlets and our website, we have a party every single night of the week. So we have something to offer to everybody, uh, multiple things per day. Oh, okay. Uh, and I know you get involved also with like other things, right? Like the, the car show, I think, and uh, like the golf tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, you know, uh, you know, we are also a marketing arm for, you know, for example, the Bentley Polo Championship, uh, oh, the Phoenix yeah. Fashion Week, uh, you know, some of the uh, VIP parties for the Barrett Jackson, a lot of things for spring training, a lot of things for the teams. Uh, so we, we have our hands in a lot of different things when it comes to a lot of the major events. Uh, and that goes back to our network and our outreach and honestly, the quality of our clientele. Oh, OK. I know uh, I haven't eaten at any of those restaurants, you know, but I was just wondering, like food wise, it's one of my favorite things to do is no. So uh, what kind of food do you guys offer? Well, you know, it goes back to the different restaurants that we market at. And like, for example, if you came up to me, Brian, and you're like, hey, Jim, I'm looking for something a little bit Mexican contemporary or I'm looking for something like Italian, you know, uh -huh. a good Italian homemade spot is e Evo, you know, things like that. We're very good at like, you know, understanding what your needs are. Uh, because honestly, the culinary in Scottsdale slash Phoenix is very underrated. Uh, there's a lot of good restaurants out here and uh, a lot of restaurants that have a very good business. Oh, OK. OK. Um, I know there's a lot of changes, you know, happening. There's a lot of building going on. What changes are you expecting in the next five years? Well, again, there's a huge upward trend when it comes to the, what, what's happening here, especially in hospitality and even with the larger corporate companies that are moving into Arizona. It's it's very promising. It's very exciting. Uh, you know, you got the projects down the street here for, in Old Town, the Ritz. Uh, then you have also the Caesars that everybody's excited about. You got a hotel that's getting built right by the W. You got seven or eight new nightlife places being opened up. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on, and not just in old towns, and not not just in Scottsdale, but just in Phoenix, Arizona in general. And we're excited for it. You know, we've become a go-to company for a lot of people to advertise their businesses and honestly send business leads to. Oh, okay. I, I, again, for the viewers that are listening, what's the best way to to reach out and uh, find out about these different venues? You know, I, I think uh, going to scottsdalenights.com um, is always a good outlet. Uh, the Scottsdale Knights Facebook fan page is a good outlet. The Scottsdale Knights Instagram page at Scottsdale Knights is also a good page. And then obviously my personal pages. I definitely put a lot of things up on my personal page. Um, it's honestly a catalyst for a lot of our business. But uh, yeah, you know, th th those are the main outlets. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just curious. Uh, I know... Out in the west side, they've got Westgate. There's a new hotel going in. There's a new amusement park. You know, there's just a lot of building. Do you foresee that area as a good place to invest, you know, your efforts in the future? Yeah, absolutely. We have some good connections down there, too. And, you know, like I've said before, anytime you're around a major sports arena or stadium, it's always a good thing. You know, with the Cardinals playing down there and then, you know, some other teams are planning on moving down there or, you know, there's a lot of action down there. And, you know, uh, that area is also expanding and all those new projects that you named off. And I think there's a casino involved in there, too. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, it's it's awesome. You know, it's it's more for our tourism. It's more for the bigger picture. Uh, getting people down here to Arizona, let alone Phoenix, Scottsdale and what other neighborhoods we have. And it just creates more demand for the hospitality services that we have. Oh, okay. So uh, for the viewers, can you let them know what is the top rated areas for nightlife? Well, Scottsdale, definitely. Um, I think it has the the, the lay of the land, um, the energy, the demand. Um, so Old Town Scottsdale is definitely in the top. Uh, you know, there's other good pockets, you know. There's Cityscape in downtown Phoenix. There's uh, obviously Mill Avenue on Tempe, if you're more for the college-driven uh, scenarios. You have downtown Chandler. Uh, you have the Entertainment District in Gilbert. Uh, now you have some areas in North Scottsdale, too. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of promising areas. Did you just open up one in Gilbert just recently? You know, I'm actually, I, I have a relationship. Uh, I'm the marketing and events uh and oh. program director for a spot there in Gilbert. And it's been a fun, you know, me getting to check out Gilbert and honestly not really being a, a person that hung out there before, but now getting the chance to put a lot of our groups in there, a lot of the people that you're familiar with. 
Uh, we had an amazing event last Wednesday with Wicked Awesome and David. Uh, 150 people there on a Wednesday. Tomorrow, Tab wow. with Networking Live. Tab and Catherine are doing an event. They're going to have a great response, too. So we're bringing a different element down there, bringing more bodies, uh, doing an economic surge for that area. And we're in the heart of summer. So once we build up into the fall, I think we're going to have a lot more momentum. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, I know you have uh, this huge marketing company. Where do you market events? Is it mainly just on like Facebook or Instagram, or do you have other venues or, you know, avenues on social media? Well, you know, uh, social media is definitely something that we've grasped the last 10 years, and we're definitely going more into digital marketing. Um, it works, especially if you have the right people quarterbacking it. Uh, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm old school too. Uh, traditional marketing works. Creative marketing, influencer marketing is a really good way to go. That's really up and coming, and it's definitely working for a lot of businesses and products. Um, but like, yeah, even traditional marketing to this day, like the old school way of flyers, business cards, there's everything has a response. You just need to know your audience. And like for me, I don't like missing. So it's one of those things that I will definitely do a strong campaign and push on online marketing. But I also know how to follow it up on ground level. Oh, okay. Okay, you guys do a great job. I know every time you guys have an ad on on Facebook, is it's so eye catchy. I can't I can't resist you know like looking into appreciate it. Appreciate that. I appreciate you saying. That. <laughs> I know. I no, it's <laughs> oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. No, so uh, I know you have different clients. What would be the smallest client you guys would take on for marketing? You know, I I don't even I've never even thought of that honestly. Um, if, if there's a relationship or there's synergy some way or some form, we're going to figure it out. You know, um, I don't think any client is too small. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's just one of those things we all, all started somewhere. And, you know, I obviously I'm in a very, very big space right now that I want to expand a lot. Uh, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of services that are in art in demand that we provide. So for us, I look again, the macro picture when it comes to that. Uh, any business, it just comes down to the scope of the project, the expectations on both sides and whatever, you know, if there's a financial matter that needs to be figured out. Oh, okay. All right. And then just one final question. Um, do you guys provide limo service, you know, like for your patrons at different events? So when it comes to transportation, limos, SUVs, party buses, sprinters, yes, the answer is all of the above. Uh, oh, wow. One thing that we are uh, getting better at, uh, because obviously people see us as the, you know, the nightlife company, uh, the restaurant company, uh, as in bookings and RSVPs, but the transportation is a big part of it. And there's so many other services that we provide. And it goes back to some of the itineraries that we we provide for people. But like, you know, we book a lot of Airbnbs. We have a few hundred in our portfolio from other companies that own them. And we basically oh, wow. program them. And we know we have a functioning relationship in this city alone with like, you know, 50, 60 hotels, you know, 60 to 80 restaurants that are top quality, you know, so things like that, like we are definitely that one stop shop when it comes to those services. Oh, OK. OK. Well, Jim, God, it's, it's I'm flattered that you're on the show. And again, for the viewers, give them a call at 480-772-7613. Or what was your website again? It's uh, scottsdellknights.com. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.